Hey guys, so I just wanted to shoot a short video of my new Hanyang VFD power inverter. Ordered it off eBay and it's a 7.5 kilowatt, 10 horsepower rated. Not sure if the rating is 100%, but I went a little overkill. The motor is a 5 horsepower 13 amp and it's a dual voltage so it's 220 slash 440 so anyway brought the household power in this is a was a single volt or three phase so household voltage single phase or three phase power inverter and I brought the 220 30 amp feeder line in and in position one there is E, R and S it's a little difficult to see but so ground line I was a little confused by this at the beginning, but the ground line goes to E, and the manufacturer considers E to be earth, or, in North America, ground line. And then I brought in the 220 single phase. If you do have 220 three phase, you would pick up that T screw as well. Anyway, and then I have... Uh, three phase coming out. Now as I said before this is a three phase 220 slash 440 so there's six lines but I've just clamped them together and that makes it uh, 220. Anyway I'll fire it up and I've switched a couple things a couple of the parameters. Um, it came factory set with 50 hertz for acceleration, 50, for, 50 hertz for deceleration, and it came with a twenty second start and a twenty second deceleration. Anyway, um, hit the start button. I've changed it to uh, the start to three seconds and the stop to three seconds and I've changed the Hertz to 60 Hertz which is standard in North America anyway I'll hit the start button and there's the motor going And uh, hit the stop button. So the inrush, I've got that checked here too. It's not all that bad. A little, a little difficult to see. But it's not that bad. Only five amps. But keep in mind. That's uh, a zero load. This motor's going to have an 18 inch saw blade hanging from the arbor. Anyway, I'll give you a, a little quick demonstration here and
Even stopping it didn't fall over. There we go. Thanks for watching, guys.